Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a mixed operations problem for you today. Uh, it combines uh, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. Uh, we have 2 minus 2 times 3 plus 3 uh, equals what? So if you'd like to, uh, if you're not really sure, you can pause the video at this point, and we'll come back and work this one out together. It's pretty similar to a lot of the other problems that I've, I've posted here before, but uh, I would like to go through this one um, with you. All right, so if you remember your order of operations from uh, elementary school, um, it's some pretty basic math, but your multiplication has precedence um, over addition and subtraction. Um, you might have learned that through an acronym like PEMDAS or BODMAS or BEDMAS or BIDMAS. Uh, there's some other ones too. Um, or you just may remember uh, the order of operations. Um, at, uh, basically, your multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. So we need to resolve that multiplication first. And of course, 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So the answer is negative 1. <clears throat> now, a lot of people will end up with the wrong answer of 3 uh, because they're just simply working left to right. Uh, and a lot of people make wrong assumptions. They assume, well, I read a sentence left to right. You just do math left to right, ignoring everything else. Uh, that's not true, and it's never been true. A lot of people will go 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, and they'll get the wrong answer of 3. That's not correct, uh, because they're ignoring the order of operations. It doesn't matter what order the problem is written in. Um, the problem, you know, um, I'll just switch over to a pointer pen here. I could have written this problem minus 2 times 3, okay, plus 2 plus 3. And then what does that equal? Well, it's the same answer. Uh, negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. Uh, minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3, uh, or negative 4 plus 3, is negative 1. So you get the same answer of negative 1. And that's, that's correct, because it doesn't matter what order you write this out in. A lot of people will complain and say, well, if they meant you to do the multiplication first, you would have written it first. Well, look, I just did. Minus 2 times 3 plus 2 plus 3 is negative 1. It's the same thing as the original problem that I have right here. It's the same thing. Uh, and that, that makes perfect sense because, you know, when you go to, a, you know, if you were going to a grocery store and the cashier's scanning up items on the, on the belt, it doesn't matter what order they're scanned in, right? You're multiplying quantities times, you know, cost per item. Uh, you know, that's, you know, basically that's done automatically now with your cash register when you scan. Uh, but it doesn't matter what order the things are scanned in. Uh, you can think of that the same way as these equations. It doesn't matter what order it's written in. The, the cost is going to be the same, right? So that's exactly what's happening here. Um, now, uh, you know, I mentioned before that multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. Uh, so you can take 2 times 3. You can see what I've done down here. 2 times 3 is the same thing as 3 plus 3. So what I've done here is I'm replacing the multiplication with 3 plus 3. That's all I'm doing. I'm replacing that. Now, some people will get upset that I put parentheses here, but what they're not understanding is I didn't change anything. Minus 2 times 3 is the same thing. I could have written this out minus 3 minus 3 instead of minus the quantity 3 plus 3. Uh, so 2 minus 3 plus 3, that's 2 minus 6, negative 4, minus 4 plus 3, negative 1. Same answer. Uh, and again, I guess i got to write this out for some because they will get confused on these parentheses. Uh, I always get comments, well, why did you add those parentheses? Well, it's no different. I could have written it this way had I wanted to when I replaced that. There's no difference. It's 2 minus 3 minus 3 plus 3. Well, what does that come out to be? That still comes out to be negative 1. 
So there's no difference between me writing it like this or this. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, now I get other comments too where people will say, well, I got, I took my calculator out that I, I bought at the Dollar Tree last week and my Dollar Tree calculator tells me the answer is three. So I must be right. Well, no, what that means is unfortunately you don't understand how to use your calculator. Um, a lot of cheap calculators, uh, and I will say it, not just cheap calculators, but calculators like the standard mode calculator on a Windows computer solves in what's called immediate execution mode. Those calculators are great uh, for when you're just adding and subtracting things. They're great for uh, when you're, you know, using the same operation throughout an expression and then hitting the equal sign. But they're not so great for when you're mixing operations like subtraction, addition, multiplication, division, unless, and I'm going to qualify that, unless you already understand the order of operations. There's nothing wrong with those calculators. It's just they have a different input method. They're not, they're very cheap calculators. They don't have an, what's called an internal stack, so they don't keep track of previous operations. <clears throat> there, that doesn't mean that you're right when you get the answer of three. Um, you, what, what you can do, well, say on your Windows computer, is you can switch it over to scientific mode, which is, which is a fairly trivial thing to do. Uh, let me go back to my pointer, laser pointer. You can change, um, uh, if you click on what they call this hamburger menu, the three horizontal lines, you can switch between standard and scientific. Now, if you switch it to scientific, it uses what's called expression mode, where you can actually type in two minus two times three plus three, and you'll get the right answer of negative one when you hit the equal sign. If you're using standard mode, it's actually resolving every operation. It's using immediate execution, so it's immediately resolving each operation. So it's actually going two minus two, and then getting zero, and then taking your zero times three, getting zero, and then adding three and getting uh, three. Uh, but <clears throat> it doesn't mean the calculator is wrong. It means that the person using it needs to remember that you know you can either use things like memory functions. Uh, you can, uh, if, depending on if your calculator has parentheses, you can use those, or you just have to do the multiplication first. That's all you do. Um, but just keep in mind, a tool is only as good as the person using it. So you can have a hammer, but if you don't know how to hit the nail, uh, the hammer's doing you no good. So um, I'd like, you know, prevent, I'd like to try to prevent more people from going into online forums and saying, well, my calculator said I'm three, said it's three, so there. Uh, well, it, it's all it's saying is that you don't understand how to use a calculator correctly, and you don't understand how your calculator works. So there are different input methods. Remember that immediate execution mode on some calculators. There's also expression mode. Um, you know, most cell phone calculators I've seen, those uh, actually work in expression mode where you can type the whole thing in, hit the enter key, and, and you're fine. Um, um, you know, I will also see people do some strange things on calculators. They could take a scientific calculator, and I've seen people hit the equal sign after every operation which is not correct either. They'll actually type it in as two minus two and hit an equal sign uh, and then uh, take that zero result times it by three and then hit an equal sign again on their calculator and then so on, which is, uh, which is wrong also. It's not written that way, so why would you do that? Um, so I just want to keep that in mind. Um, I've got a whole video on calculators. I've got some links in the description. Um, about order of operations and some more topics about this. So um, hopefully, hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and I look forward to seeing everyone in the next video.